Hello guys, this is Mohan from SSCRD's Gang Minds. This time we have an amazing kid who's just 16 years old. His name is Naban. He is not just an ordinary kid. He is a very good RC plane flyer. He is very much into space and technology and also a good photographer. Hi Naban, tell me something about you. Uh, I am Naban. I was born in Bangalore and I completed my schooling from KV Hebal and uh, currently studying uh, science stream PCMB at Deeksha Elhanka and uh, I love space. Naban, can you just tell me about your area of interest? My area of interest goes from RC, electronics, flying, programming, photography and the major being aviation engineering, the space technology, rockets, their engine, all of that fascinates me a lot. Why? It's my passion that drives me towards it and just because it's more challenging, it's more hard, that is why I get more inclined to do it. That's amazing, Naba. Who is your motivation? My dad was my motivation, like every other space lover, like every other rocket lover. Epij Abdul Kalam was someone who inspired me a lot. So you told me that you are good at RC flying and you are good at photography and you are good at fly programming and electronics. So how all these things begin? It, it all started with electronics as far as I remember and uh, electronics, I was motivated by my dad to do electronics and I used to make basic modules, simple uh, you know modules and uh, from there it kept going. I started making bigger projects, I, I started going into science congresses and all electronics kept aside. Photography was something that I was always inclined to. And like every other photographer's dream, aerial photography, space photography, is something that, you know, kindles him, is something that cherishes his brain. So going by, I started doing RC flying. And I used to mount cameras on the RCs. I used to fly them. Not just the fun and thrill of flying it, but it was also the photography, the aspect of photography that I had towards it. So all that put aside, uh, electronics was something that again binded all this together. So this aside, uh, rockets, engines, mechanical engineering, aviational engineering was something that I dreamed of doing from my childhood because engines amused me a lot. Anything that was a big passion was something that amazed me. Wow, Naban, those were a lot of things. Can you be more specific? To be more specific, I have been a participant in the National Science Congress at the Chandigarh University in Mohali and have represented India there and have been a keen participant in the PESU University Science exhibitions that were held and have unlocked for college there. Going aside to my photography side, I have been a participant of Canon's uh, multiple events and have been a part of GoPro competitions and have also been a uh, participant in the youth parliament competition zonal level and have been a participant of SCRD's uh, Astro Space Camp 2018 and have won the student Stephen Hawking Award there. Naban, can you just explain us a few of the projects that you have worked on which will involve your area of interests? Few of my projects that I worked on were to be more specific, few which I liked a lot were uh, the weather monitoring system that I made. It involved uh, taking the temperature, the different para weather parameters of that certain place, whether it was the temperature, the wind, the rainfall, the wind temperature, the barometric pressure or whatever it was. And uh, it was a specific project wherein we were to design a small module which we could accommodate anywhere for that matter. In the, you know, in the places where there were no electricity, whether it was in a flight or whether it was in a vehicle which was going in slush, anywhere. And uh, have you tried to install this area? Yes, I already have a few units installed in my native, which are, for which I have a database unit wherein I get all the information. And uh, going by, I also have worked on many projects that involves RC planes, uh, of which I built three of the major planes of mine. One which was IR Dave, wherein I had a, a Hornet engine from Evolution, a 20cc engine, the biggest plane that I built. Going down, I had smaller planes from AP Hornet, a 1.5cc plane. And the smallest one I made was a 15cm plane with a Cox 4.9 engine, which was the smallest one I made. Amazing. So where were you? You I mean, where, you, where were you testing all of them? Where were you flying? Um, Jakur Aerodrome was considerate enough to give me the chance in the starting and then I used, uh, testing them was always a difficulty because 
people here do not understand that you just want to test it, it also comes with their privacy issues so it used to be a hard time to test them i i remember going to my native i remember traveling distances in order to test them but at the end of the day everything is free you worked on amazing projects now but i mean it's so innovative and it's something really new which i've heard of So what do you think is your future goal and what do you want to become my future goal is to become a commercial pilot and in order to achieve that i want to become an aviation engineer and uh, following which i would like to fly rc's for my entire life very good so what are the preparations that you have done in order to achieve your goals in order to achieve these goals i have already started preparing for my director general of civil aviation exams in order to qualify for the flying courses and uh, coming which i have also started to you know work on my concentration skills and all of those amazing and uh, have you written any exams and uh, any other kind of uh, you know uh, the other ways that you want to achieve your goal okay yes, i have already completed three of my dgce exams and i'm awaiting the results so following which i'll be completing the rest of them and uh, uh, going forward for the so naban what are the supports you got till today my dad was a constant support to me my dad had always supported me whether it was buying electronics for me whether it was motivating me to do it and support that one needs to go when the entire world is against you and uh, my mom was always a support for me whether it was writing charts at night or whether it was she she always ensured that i go that extra mile to you know get get the best out of whatever i'm doing she always wanted me to do best in whatever i am doing for that matter and my teachers nita uh, wagya ma'am being a constant support to me for everything that i did for all my uh, experiments that i conducted and all of those and finally it was my school every other teacher that had taught me there in kv hebbal every teacher there was a support to me and then uh, sscrd nikita ma'am mohan sir sujay sir have always been a support to me and uh, mahesh sir has also uh, been a support to me and the inspiration to me to build more rockets so what are the supports that you are expecting in the future uh, i have an inclination towards space towards research towards space research and photography so i'm looking forward for something where i can work with someone or get a platform to work where i could hone my uh, programming skills where i could do research where i could conduct experiments and you know get all those doubts out of my mind that get all those ideas out of my mind have a platform wherein i can put those ideas and uh, so that i could you know bring it into reality and get the best out of it for the society that i'm hoping for okay naba you told me that you have got a lot of support from the sscrd so how did you get in touch with the sscrd uh it was the space camp that was in 2017 when i first got to know about sscrd from my friends i had registered for the space camp but uh, with my tight schedule i could not attend it though i desperately wanted to attend the space camp in 2018 i got a chance and attended the astro space camp uh wherein i learned a lot and uh, it brought in new avenues into my uh passion okay naba tell me the experiences with sscrd uh i have had a quite a lot of experience with sscrd in the space camp i learned a lot about chemical rocketry mahesh sir taught us about the engines the different fuels that we use and all of that uh following which we made our own telescope for nikita ma'am guided us towards making it and then a drone session from ali sir showed the avenue that we could make drones ourselves and then finally sujay sir taught us about satellites we built a satellite uh, a thermostatic satellite which was used to measure temperature and other few such parameters which was a very interesting project Nuban, uh, you've been such an amazing participant of SSCRD programs, and you know you've been one of the different uh, student among all of them we have seen, and the achievements that you have made, and the interest.
ideas that you have and the projects that you have worked on. We are really impressive and you know we wanted people to know about you so that they can support you for your future projects and uh, so it's from SSCRD we would like to extend any kind of support that you would need in future and also we wish you very good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Very good. So guys, uh, this is about uh, SSCRD Young Mind and this is Naban. So guys, that's all for this time in SSCRD's Young Mind. If you have such young, bright kids in your home and you want them to showcase their talents and get good support, please reach out to us. So guys keep supporting us by liking this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Until next time this is SSCRD signing off. Bye bye. Bye. bye.